This video will introduce you to research for Comp 1. As a Massasoit student, you have access to a wide range of information through the library. Although when we search Google, our results might seem infinite, what we are seeing is only what is freely available online. Massasoit has access to lots of resources that you will not find in a Google search. Rather, they are available through databases that we pay for access to. Databases are collections of articles from newspapers, magazines, and journals. They will also sometimes have images, books, and video clips as well. Databases can save you time with searching because you won't find advertisements or personal websites, and you won't have that annoying problem of reading a certain number of articles and hitting a paywall where you have to pay to keep reading. The information that you find in databases has gone through an editing process, which is not always true of websites. It is much easier to know who is responsible for the information. You can see who the author is, when it was published, and oftentimes you can see the sources of information that the author used. You will also find more in-depth information versus what you can find on a website. Databases have helpful tools including advanced search options and citation tools. We will go through three steps. The first step is to think about what you would like to research and brainstorm a few topic ideas. This will also help you to think of keywords for searching in the library's databases. Keywords are words that describe your topic. If you use hashtags when posting on social media, think of your keywords like the hashtags you use on posts. For example, if I wanted to know about the effects of technology on mental health, my keywords would be technology and mental health. The second step is to access the library's databases. Go to the library resources link in your Comp1 Canvas space. Remember that when you are off campus, you will be asked to enter your Massasoit username and password for database access. Now the third step is to start searching. We are going to look at two databases. The first is called Opposing Viewpoints. You can enter your keywords in the search box, or if you need to find topic ideas, click on the icon to browse issues. For topics related to technology, select Science, Technology, and Ethics from the drop-down menu. This will give you a list to scan through for topic ideas. Let's try searching for technology and mental health. You will find a variety of sources in your search results. These include magazine and newspaper articles and video and radio clips. Click on these links to view more. All of the sources that you find in opposing viewpoints have helpful tools. These include a translation tool, an option to listen to sources, and a citation tool. Look for them at the top of the page. If you want to narrow down your search results, click on the advanced search option next to the search box. We are looking at the advanced search option in Opposing Viewpoints as an example. Most databases will have this feature. With advanced search, you can add additional keywords, as I have done here, and select limits which help to narrow your search. Using advanced search options and limits is similar to how we shop online when we specify the size, color, and item type we want to find. These limits can include publication date, source type, that is newspaper, magazine, etc., and even peer review, which will show you scholarly sources written for researchers and experts in the field. The other database that we will look at is called Discovery. Discovery searches all of Massasoit's databases at one time. It's a powerful search tool and it can produce lots of results. Let's continue our search for technology and mental health. Discovery gives you the option of using the advanced search or the refined results menu on the left side of the page. Helpful limits include publication date, especially when thinking about technology, as well as the source type and subject menus. Click off any of these options and your search results will update automatically. Click on a title to view the full text. Some articles will also have a listen and translate tool. You can find tools for citing, emailing, and Google Drive on the right side of the page. If you need help with finding information on your topic or using databases, you can ask a librarian. Use this chat box on your Comp1 guide to send us an instant message. Our chat is open from 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday. You can also send us an email through this link here. Good luck with your research and we look forward to helping you.